How's it going everybody? My name is Charlie Thompson and I am the founder and owner of Apostle Studio and today in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to make this really simple effect which is using a font node, scatter, pop network, copy to point and a couple of materials. So we're going to jump straight into it and we're going to add in our first node which is going to be the font. We jump straight into that, we're going to add in our text. So I'm going to put in a Poslo. And as you can see already, we've got our text, we need to extrude this extrude old. We also need to bring the depth down because it's, it's quite thick at the moment. So we're gonna have to bring that down to roughly around about there. So 0.1 will do fine. We're going to add in a remesh. This will add a bit of detail. So if you highlight it, come over to fixed length and target edge length. So we're going to change this to 0.03. I wouldn't go any lower um, unless your computer can handle it. But for this exercise, you don't need to actually go any lower than that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a scatter. So if we just view that real quickly, we're going to leave it at a thousand point counts at the moment. Uh, we will come back and change that later on. Uh, next, what you want to do is you actually want to add in the pop network where we're going to emit our particles from. We're going to jump inside that. We're going to just drag this up a little bit here. We're also going to change in the pop source emission type. So we're going to change that to points. So if you play this now, nothing's going to happen. Basically, what's happening is the points are emitting from these sections here each one of these points but they're just layering on on top of each other and uh, not being moved anywhere because there's no force added so we're going to add in a force we're going to add in a wind a pop wind and we're also going to add in a pop drag i'm going to leave the drag settings we don't need to change any of that uh, we are going to change the aperture to 0.1 0.2 we're gonna do 0.2 if we play this now you'll see there's a bit of movement they are emitting we can go into the pop source and we can change the amount that is mid but you can always come do that later on when you actually come to render so we're gonna jump back out we are now going to add in a p scale randomized so we're going to add in an attribute vop uh, we're going to view that and we're going to jump in. So I'm just going to open this up, make it a little bit bigger. We're going to move this geometry VOP output out of the way because we don't need it. We're then going to come off the P position and we're going to add in a noise. We are going to select this. We're going to change the signature to 3D noise. We're going to change all these to promote promote all these so we can then edit it after and we don't have to keep coming back into the attribute vop to change everything off the noise you want to add in a uh, bind export uh, select it we're going to change the name to p scale so we've just created a attribute there for p scale so all this now has randomized each point um, each particle and change the size and everything so to change the scale though we do need to add in a attribute wrangle so a small little bit of code nothing too major we're going to add in at orient equals rand uh, at point just like that okay so if we come back out of this now, you're not going to see anything in the viewport, which is fine. But if we go to the render and we render this, I am going to quickly add a camera. I'll put a camera here real quick. We haven't got very many points because we're only on frame one. If I move this up now, we will have more. So as you can see, we do have uh, a few big points, uh, quite a few small points and so on. You're not seeing much here because they're that small. So jump back into here we are going to quickly add in a randomize which we can now change the attribute name to the rotation so um orient 
Now you can actually change the scale size, you can change the max value, minimum value, but you're not going to see anything at the moment because we haven't actually added in um, a copy to point. So we're going to add in a sphere. We're going to change the uh, primitive type to polygon mesh. We're going to change the rows and the columns down to five each. Uh, so it's not going to crash our computers. We're going to add in a copy to point node, which the first one will go into the sphere, second one into the points. So already you can see there's a big difference. I am going to quickly come into the attribute VOP and come down to the um, the aptitude, which we're going to bring down just slightly, just so we can see a little bit more. So there you go. We have a couple of points here and there. Uh, if I zoom in through this, you'll see they're all different rotations, they're all different scales, and you can also see where the colors are going to appear for the material. So the way that you can change where the colors are appearing is you can come into the attribute VOP, change the frequency and the roughness. Once what the frequency does, if I quickly show you now, if I pump it up a little bit, you'll see that the higher the frequency, the more randomized the colors are going to be. So you're going to have more of the blue and more of the white. Uh, if you bring it down, you're going to have less. So if I bring it down to Let's say we bring it down to 1 and then we're going to bring it down to 0 0.3. So as you can see, there's basically only two. You've got the white and the blue. But I'm going to leave mine at around about 3. Yeah, I'm going to leave it around about 3. We haven't got very many particles there. If I bring this up now, it should show a little bit more. Uh, the roughness, what the roughness does is, um, if you have a look at this section here, it's the in-between the colors. So if I bring the roughness all the way down here, you'll see how it separates them. Uh, to bring it all the way up, we'll end up meshing it all together. Uh, so I wouldn't go anything above 0.5 uh, and nothing really below 0 .f 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 possibly. So I'm going to go bang in the middle. We're going to go 0 0.48. Uh, now what we can do is we can go back into the camera, we can render this. I'm going to add in a quick light. So I'm going to add in the skylight, which will make the render look a little bit better. Add a little bit of um, shadow into it. Now what we want to do is we want to open up the material palette. So for this preview, I actually use basic liquid material, um, which we can get now. I'm just going to drag and drop this into the material palette and we're going to edit it first before we actually put it on here uh, as it will take a little bit to render if we don't. So if you come over to the refraction, we're going to disable this. We're then going to come over to the subsurface. We're going to enable that, which would be uh, in this case, it will be the white sub uh, the subsurface is the the white part here and the diffuse is actually the blue bit. So if we come over to here, I'm going to leave it on white, but I am going to come down to the scattering, which will increase the intensity um, of the white, uh, which you can come over to the single intensity, change that to 10. We're going to come over to diffuse. We're going to come all the way down. I'm going to change this to uh, black for the moment. So we've got the black and the white there. Uh, you can change the intensity up if you want. But apart from that, at the moment, if you just drag and drop that over to the particles, and as you can see already, everything has changed. You got the, instead of the blue, it's the black. Uh, the white is there as well. So yeah, that's basically about it, guys. Um, you can go back into the OBJ, uh, the geometry here, and you can go in and you can change the scale. You can also change the rotation. You can change the actual sphere itself. You can add a cube on. You can do anything really with this setup. You can add in more points, scatter points. Uh, if you come into the pop network, you can actually emit more points. So if I change this to 10, we are going to have to go back to scratch. And we're going to go to 96. Shouldn't take too long. And it will have just emitted more points. So just go in, have a look around, change a few things. You can change the text. Um, can even change it to a geometry so if I just 
move this to one side and we add in let's say a cube oh we add a cube in put this down here I have to reset that. And there you go. You got a cube. It's all randomized. You can add in anything you like. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next one.